Hello guys, KP Shamino here with uh, this time a guide about the yeah a really small fish, the brook trout. Uh, it's not complicated, so I'm going to make this video really quick because it's uh, yeah it's not that complicated to catch too. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys the area where I got two spots, and that's on the lighthouse. But I discovered something about the brook, brook trout and that's with my own testing it seems that the brook trout shares almost every time an area with the brown trout so i think they are sitting in the same school so only the brook trout is yeah a lot smaller than the brown trout so it's only one kilogram and a normal brown trout is around two kilograms so that's the half but so what i'm going to show you guys is the brook trout his area and most of the time you are going to get brown trouts there too so i'm going to show you guys now the area in the lighthouse so if you come to the lighthouse uh, you got two positions that i saw that was really good for the brook trout and for the brown trout too so you just come here at the edge of the rocks and then you need to throw towards this boat okay and the area that the trout is sitting is like around 50 meters. I got one at 50 meters, 55 meters, 48 meters, all brook trout. So that means around 50 meters, I think there is like uh, an environment under the water and there is the trout sitting. And if you throw on that position, you will get brown trout and you will get brook trout. So most of the time it's going to be brook trout because you are fishing with a really small hook on them too. So you're going to get a lot of them. I got, I think, 10 and I fished for two uh, hours in game. So it's not complicated. The other spot is, and some guys already know, that's on my uni smallmouth bass, is here at the left buoy. And at the 48 meter point, you got uh, like the trout area is over there and there you get the brook trout too so you just need to throw let's say it's almost the same meters let's say 55 to 45 meters that's the sweet area to get the trout brown trout and brook trout so it's just the same a little bit 55 45 55 45 and if you throw over there you will see you are going to get a brook trout so i'm going to throw for a moment so let's go here to the edge and let's throw towards the boat. So normally I can make with this setup, I think 60 meters. So let's have a look. Maybe I can catch one. I'm not sure. So the technique that I'm using is uh, stop and go. It works really well here and you don't need to be afraid to get snagged because the spinner, it's with the spinner 4 gram 1 o hook. It's really not that heavy. So it's not problematic that you're going to get a lot of snacks. I didn't have a lot of snacks. So just reel three times, just do a little strike, wait a little bit, three times. And now I'm getting in the sweet zone, 55 meters. Let's check that we can maybe get one in the movie. Yeah, normally after this, now I'm out of the, the sweet area. So now it's possible that you get walleye, that you get uh, smallmouth bass. Perch, I didn't get with this setup, but it's not the hour of perch. Yeah, here is a fish and I guess uh, it's going to be walleye or smallmouth bass because I was out of the sweet area. I don't think this is a brook trout. No, it's a smallmouth bass, like I said. So it's really important that you are in the area. So after the 45 mark, if you are going for brook trout, just reel back in and uh, go again. Okay, let's have a look at the setup because I need to make some distance, like 55 meters. Uh, I changed my uh, line to the 0 0.12 bread uh, mechfin because yeah, it, it's not a big fish. 
the, the bread can get 1.8 kilograms. That's more than enough. Uh, I'm using the Tora 290, my fat boy spin 5000, but that's just the same setup. You can, of course, use lower uh, equipment here because it's a small fish. And this is very important. So with the spinner 4 gram 1.0 hook works really well for the brook trout. It's a small fish, so don't go to, I guess a 2.0 hook will work too, but 3.0 hook is way too big for this fish. He cannot get it in his mouth, so don't do it. Just go with the spinner full gram 1.0. And what worked for me really well too, and you guys will see it on my net, is the medium spoon 7. So you see it here. It's the tiger lemon, I think. But once again, the 1.0 hook small fish and you guys will see what i said brock trout and a lot of browns too so the browns are a little bit at the same position and this was just testing so here you will see how you need to do it so i cannot say more about this fish i'm not going to say more about this fish because otherwise it's just more video time so just get to the position the left boat the left buoy uh, 55 meters until 45 meters get a medium spoon 7 gram 1.0 on or the spinner 4 gram 1.0 on and you get brock trout the whole day if you want there isn't really a sweet hour i just started at 11 in the morning i fished until 3 in the afternoon and i got the fish so that was it for this movie thanks for watching guys have fun and good luck in fishing planet bye bye